attention to this. AI and data analytics specialist Giv Luele has become the first creator of South Africa's first AI Ama Piano album. He's on a quest to redefine how machine intelligence blends with African rhythm and storytelling. Gift joins us now for this conversation. Gift, appreciate your time. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, love what you guys do here, and it's such a pleasure to, uh, and an honor as well to be on a stage like this. So we talk about data analytics and that being your specialty, but also now there's this brand spank in new Ama Piano album that's AI inspired. Walk us through how you married the two. Yeah, so uh, grew up in a small village. Uh, our first digital device was the radio. I love music and it yeah. started there. Um, later on, I came to Joburg and I realized that Technology is something I'm passionate as well. Um, I went to the state. I just did an MBA in data analytics and AI in Boston next to Harvard and MIT. And for me, it was, it was this album was a showcase of building something based on two of my passions, technology and creativity. Um, and it has come together quite nicely, not only because people love it, but just because of what's happening from an AI point of view globally, really. I, I really, for me, what I wanted to do was showcase that Africa can not only lead, mm -hmm. it can also incorporate cultural stories, behaviors, you know, current events, um, and really that local original flavor that we have that the world so really, really love. And that's what this, the South Africa's first AI Ama Piano album is. Yeah, so I've got uh, Chris, my producer, speaking to at the moment. So when we come back, we, we are going to listen to, to, to one of the tracks. But uh, before we do that, just wanted to find out, uh, what was your involvement in music mm. uh, before the launch of this album? I'd actually put a, a single out on Spotify and I went the traditional route. I went to studio, which was 1,500 an hour. That does not include mastering and all the other things. And what I then realized was the process is just so tiring. And a lot of artists are struggling because of that, because what it means is if you don't have access to a good studio, all of a sudden your creativity dies, where mm. else AI gives that opportunity. You can sit in a bedroom like I did and create an amazing album. Okay, so let's let's listen in to one of your tracks and then we will come back and uh, talk through it. Sure. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose part of the marketing ploy around this was calling it Tabo Vista. Yeah, <laughs> it really was. What, what, was the, what was the inspiration? Yes. Who gets killed in the song? <laughs> Hopefully no one gets killed. Mm. But uh, a few of my friends called and they said, hey, why are you embracing this guy? I said, I'm not really embracing it. You mm. know, I think what music is is an opportunity for artists to be creative, speak about anything that they think is going to resonate with the people. Um, and I think for me, what's also quite interesting is demonstrating that AI can come in and understand local context, right? It can come in, the, the person speaking here is speaking in Zulu, and it's quite fluid. It's not a human being, that's AI, right? So, and what a lot of people say is, oh, then it's gonna take our jobs, it's gonna replace mm. human beings. I said, it's not. What it does is it's bridging the creativity gap. Previously, when you had an idea to say, I wonder what this guy has been doing with money from a corruption point of view. Now you can take that, put it in. Within a few seconds, you have something that's really, really interesting. How happy are you with this album? I mean, I'm, I'm listening to, to Tabo Vesta. You still haven't told us why you called it Tabo Vesta. Yeah. So I think part of it is obviously marketing. Even this, mm. the album itself, it's called South Africa's first AI I'm a piano album. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening around that. And for me, I think it was that. There's also Love Never Ends. Love is one of the most... I would say Googled word, you know, in any context, right? So there's a lot of thinking that went behind this album. Um, and I think for me, what is quite interesting to your question of how do I feel, am I proud of it? I would say I am. I'm proud of how it is 
enabling the conversation of AI. I'm proud of the fact that I have artists calling me out and saying, what are you doing? You're threatening us because this is what it is. The AI revolution is here, you know, and being in the US and being exposed to the likes of Harvard and MIT and Boston University, this is nothing. So, so how do you respond to those calls of gift? You're threatening our livelihood. I think it's change. And we've seen over and over again that if you don't change, if you do not adapt, you're not gonna stay in the game for long. So what I really encourage any stakeholder within the industry is to go ahead and play with it. Because if you don't, someone else will. And guess what? They will overtake you. Why? It's cheaper, it's faster, it's easier, and right now it's almost indistinguishable. If I play the album and didn't tell you that this was AI, you wouldn't even know. You would ask, who is this artist? Mm. You might criticize how the song structure is put, the drum lock. You might criticize all of that, but you would not guess that it's AI. So, so my 14-year-old daughter and I were driving, and she was playing some, um, well, she asked me to play some, some on, on my piano. So, yeah. so obviously, you know, a little bit of a, of a disconnect, <laughs> if, if you will. So let's talk about your, your target audience. Uh, do you have a specific target audience that you are... Uh, trying to reach with this album? Really, I am trying to reach to young people. Africa is going to be home to more young people than any other place in the world. Young people, just like your daughter, love this type of music. But what's quite interesting about young people is they are born in an age of AI. Your daughter will never live in a day where there's no AI thing. Mm. Everything mm. is going to be AI. And, and as you can see, that we can see through the data that the young people are the quickest to adopt um, AI. In fact, there's an interesting study done by OpenAI, the company that created ChatGPT, yeah. and they asked who is the most um, fastest country to adopt ChatGPT. It was Kenya. You know why? Because Kenya is well connected from an infrastructure point of view, but it's because of young people. So my audience is young people that love music, young people that want to go into um, the space and not just music, but video creation and, and a bunch of other things, mixing, DJing. I invite them to come in mm. because this is the new normal for them. Well, Giff, we've, we've run short of time, but very quickly, you've got just half a minute. Let's talk about the older generation and how they can embrace AI, you know, with, without getting lost. I mean, you've, you've just done your, 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 your MBA in, in artificial intelligence. Uh, just very quickly. For me, I think I am not exclusively excluding anyone. Everyone is welcome to join. You know, the elder generation, I just have realized based on experience that change, once you're used to something, is a little mm. bit more tough. Um, but anyone is welcome to go listen to the song, stream it. It's available on all major platforms. It's called the South Africans' first AI Amabiano album. And share your thoughts. Yeah, we. Gift, Luella, I appreciate you coming on to the show. I mean, multiple songs that everybody can listen to. I'm telling you, I'm going to be listening to Tabu Besta when the show is over. And that's where we leave this conversation. Well, still to come at the top of the hour, it's a wrap of the Madlanga Commission with Zianda Ngobo. See you later.